of the Street Triple have been controversial since its original release, but nonetheless it has been a very successful motorcycle. So what does it have that other motorcycles don't? Welcome to another episode of Things You Didn't Know, this time featuring the Street Triple RS. Just like many other bikes, the Street Triple offers a parking mode that lets you lock the steering column. Now this is sometimes useful because you are able to leave your bike unattended with the parking lights on, so for example other drivers are able to see your motorcycle on the side of the road. With the Street Triple however, the hazard switch is completely disabled when put into parking mode which makes it kinda useless. The Street Triple RS is the only one of the few bikes that gives you both the passenger seat and the rear cowl from the factory at no charge although it is probably just included in the price of the motorcycle. When the part is lifted however, it is visible right away that there is barely any space for storage aside from maybe storing your license and registration. But if you take a really close look, you will actually see that Tramp was generous enough to provide their customers with a USB plug at no extra charge for their electronic devices. In my personal opinion, I think it's a pretty neat feature if your device will fit of course, which it probably won't. On the underside of the cowl, you will find your regular simple tools that come on all motorcycles. But what is that circle looking thing on the side? Well, thank you for asking. After some research, we have found out that it's used for adjusting your front forks, as there is very little space under the handlebars. So this little guy will help you reach those adjusters while you're pulled over in the parking lot. Now, this interesting fact does not affect our friends in the UK. The Street Triple offers one of the best looking full color TFT displays out there. But it doesn't take the sun too well as it's easily reflected. If you are riding in really bright riding conditions, the Street Triple gives riders the option of moving the screen up and down with this silver looking tab on the bottom left corner of the screen. Since the headlights have to be always on in North America when it comes to motorcycles, Tramp had to remove the headlight switch from the left side. This results in a really big empty spot which does not look good, especially for a motorcycle that starts at 15,000 Canadian dollars. Sadly, the DRLs themselves are not bright either, upon startup they are bright for only 2 seconds or so before becoming dim. This makes them really difficult to see and makes the bike look less premium than it really is, especially when paired with the factory halogen bulbs. And sadly for the North American market, there's still not a solid fix on this issue of making the DRLs bright and if there is, maybe comment down below. Now if you guys are interested in getting great looking motorcycle first person footage, check out Ritech Moto, which offers a large assortment of custom helmet camera mounts that go exactly in the center of your helmet. All links below and worldwide shipping is available. When it comes to heated grips, I think Tramp really did a good job here. The heated grips fitted on this motorcycle look great and don't have any wires coming off the handlebars. These grips are actually wired from the inside of the handlebar via pre-drilled holes, everything is controlled through the button on the left, and all the information can be seen through the TFT display. The Street Triple actually doesn't have a flasher button, but instead only has a high beam toggle switch. Now this was probably done because there is no space to fit a button for a flasher, but on North American models there is a huge empty blank switch that could have been filled up with high beam controls, which would allow to have a flasher button on the back. The key is nice and beefy and really does feel like a premium key that unlocks a premium motorcycle. Now the reason for this key being larger in size might be because it looks more premium, but the size is also necessary because the key houses a chip which is used to connect with the bike's immobilizer. This adds another factor of security to the motorcycle, but still doesn't prevent two guys from lifting it and throwing it into a van. With the Street Triple being such a technology forward motorcycle, things like software unlocks are slowly becoming a thing. Only the RS model comes with two themes with three extra styles for the low cost of 2000 extra dollars, which includes all in suspension and Bramble brakes. Here are the styles you get for that extra price. This is one of the few sport bikes that I've seen that has a dipstick to check the oil level. And no, the dipstick is not located on the top, but it's actually here on the bottom. Now is this better than the side glass that is more common? I don't know, I think I prefer the side glass over the dipstick. But I think it's something different, which is cool, which comes on a European bike. The Street Triple RS from factory comes with a really smooth quick shifter, but if you look directly at the bike, you would not see it. The quick shifter is actually conveniently placed behind the heel guard, which just creates a cleaner look. 
Oh, and did I mention that the bike comes with self-canceling turn signals? They can easily be enabled through the menu, but after trying them, I would not recommend them as they really don't work too well. But I guess it's a cool feature to see evolving in higher-end motorcycles. Throughout this video, did you guys notice that the bike was equipped with OEM frame sliders? I didn't think so. I think Triumph really did a good job here on the design and it practically makes them invisible, meanwhile increasing the drop resistance substantially. Here were some things that I thought you guys would find interesting. The Street Triple RS is definitely one of my favorite bikes out there and I had a lot of fun discovering all these interesting features. Thank you so much for watching this video, many other videos are coming out soon and we will see you in the next one.